Hello there everyone, my name is JM Sparrow and welcome to my first ever Let's Play which is going to be of Darkest Dungeon which is a brand new indie game just released on Steam in Early Access uh, but for an Early Access game this is definitely one that stands out for me so it's 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 a roguelite roguelite um, RPG strategy it's just different from all the rest in my opinion. It's kind of like a mixture of a lot of different games but I think the best way for me to explain it is probably just to jump straight into the campaign here. I have played this a bit but I thought I'd have a clean slate for my first ever Let's Play. Uh, I've never really done anything like this before. It's quite exciting. Uh, so what should, what should we call it? Let's just call it the GM Sparrow Estate shall we? And let's jump straight in. So. The thing is with Darkest Dungeon is it's it's strange and it's it's a gothic kind of etiquette. I'm just gonna skip the cutscene here, yeah. but it's strange in the sense that it's it's just very there's a lot of, lot of things in it. There's a lot of different things that it draws from, a lot of different inspirations. So this is gonna be our um, main screen here. This is what we're gonna be. This is like our main hub or hood, if you like. Uh, so this isn't really going to be much of a tutorial video, it's more just going to be me playing the game and I'll probably briefly explain everything that, that's going on. I mean, I think if you're stumbling across this video out of nothing and you have never played Darkest Dungeon before, there's probably better people for to explain it. Uh, but I will, I will try and explain a lot of different things. So I'll explain just what we've got on the front here. It's this thing in the corner, I don't know if you can see my mouse pointer or not, but this thing that's flashing, if you can't see it, is just our mission, basically. So our mission is the old road at the moment, find your way to the hamlet. Uh, the hamlets are our town, where we can upgrade stuff, etc. I'll get into that once we're there. And we have a light meter at the top, which is... Uh, it's, it does different things, like the plus plus scouting means whenever we get into a different room, we can uh, see further ahead. Uh, we can surprise enemies if they appear. Uh, so these two guys here are our characters. There is usually four in a party, but in the tutorial it gives us two, which is Reynold and Dismos. Reynold is a crusader, so the, the, we have different classes. Uh, we have quite a few different classes, actually. I look forward to playing a lot of different ones. A crusader, he has four moves at the moment. Smite, Zealous Accusation, Stunning Blow, Bulwark of Faith, and Highwayman has Open Bane, Pistol Shot, Grape Shot, Blast, and Take Aim. Also, you can move them around. Uh, but I am not going to do that. Uh, some stats here, we have HP. This is something I will get into later. It's, it's probably something that makes Darkest Dungeon very unique, very different from, from other other games. Uh, you have basic stats here like accuracy, critical chance, damage, dodge, protection and speed. And you have a uh, little weapon which you can upgrade later on as well. Slots for items. And traits as well, which is uh, just something that, that modifies our stats. So that's enough of me just talking about what the game's like. Uh, we have the map here, so we will move to this room here. Brigands have run. Uh, these and we will keep to the side uh, path. move along this the hallway. Just ahead. Basic WASD movements and mouse. So we've this come across an enemy. Just fashion. one. It's usually it a lot more than one. It's arrival. usually about four. Uh, so I think the best thing for us to do is open me in this guy, to be honest. Uh, once you hover over it, you do get a lot of different stats here. So it's got 25% stun resist, bleed resist, blight resist, and debuff resist. The chance for us to hit it, hit it are 83%, and crit is 5%, we we'll do 4 to 9 damage. Fingers crossed we get the 9. <laughs> 6. Not too bad, I suppose. So, what can our... Oh, it's there to turn up a good slice. Good, it's not that bad. That movement is a bit annoying, actually. Uh, but look, we still have all our moves here. Should spider for the kill. As Fantastic. The falls, a faint hope blossoms. 50 gold, not too bad. Uh, we'll move him back a bit. Uh, yeah, this is like our little provision section. We've got 50 gold and two food. Uh, interactive objects. Uh, we can interact with this. We'll have Reynold interact. 
break anti fireballs, 50 gold. Leave nothing Thank unchecked. you very much. And then we will there head is much to be through found the door. in forgotten places. So, yeah, there will be a. Uh, An ambush. We have surprise. Send oh, that's these pretty a incredible. The rightful owner has the returned, best thing for us to do here is probably is get rid no of the fuse of Leo first. That six is pretty huge. And we could stunning blow, but it does have a 50 like, 50 ah, chance for it to stun. I don't know if I want to take them odds. Oh, fuck it. Oh, that is huge. That is pretty. I'm happy with that, definitely. Uh, if we can pistol shot this guy and take him out. Wonderful. I, 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 that is brilliant. And let's smite this guy for a seven, which is not bad. Round three. So, how are we going to take this guy out? I think open vein is four to nine. Pistol shot does three to eight, so I think. If we do 4 9, get the bleed damage, well that 9 is huge. Resist the bleed, uh, it could be worse. Fine black shrimp's gonna hurt. For 9, which is pretty bad. And it pushed through back. Which is never really good. Smite for thir 11. Uh, it could be worse. Okay, so we should be able to finish him off in this one. Hit 5, the fantastic. Perhaps the turning point. Perhaps it could be. So as you can see, just see there, we've just completed the mission. We shall see what... It's trapped, of course it is. We just got blighted. But it doesn't really matter, because we're going to leave anyway. So at the end of every mission, you get a victory screen or a defeat screen. Hopefully in this Let's Play there'll be more victory screens than defeat uh, screens. 5,000 gold quest reward, 900 gold treasure, and a few crests. This is like our, our currency in, in the town hamlet. So both of us are leveled up to level one. Um, we have gained demonomania. Believes it is possessed by demons. That's never good. I don't really know what that could possibly do. And 20% stress resist in the wield. That's not bad. I'm happy with that. Improved bound plus 15% move resist. That's always good. So we'll go to the town here, which is like our our just, just got a town home. really. So this is our Such activity is. log. So this Reynold Dismas is successfully escorted me to the hamlet. Uh, Reynold is now apprentice now. crusader. Dismas is now apprentice iron. The ruins, the ruins has been unlocked. These are like our, our quest goals, like what to aim for. As, you, as I say, the game is in early access, so it's not finished yet. Uh, but we do have like an end goal to kill all these like bosses. Um, so usually at the end of it, we do we could go for stress relief. Well, no, we can't because it's not unlocked yet. But everyone seems fairly less stressed out. So we can go to the stagecoach. This is basically Women, where we can hire men, soldiers new and outlaws, people. And I think the first thing we do really want to do is increase this. Will find their way because to I think one of the big the things is clear. once all your people are stressed out the fuck and in the abbey or the tavern you've got no one left, I think just having a full four people is probably better than having one who's really stressed out and and others. So we'll get our plague doctor and and Gordon, what better Gordon laboratory our cleric, than blood or, or what's it called? It's called a, a vestal. We will rename these. Don't worry, I will try and think of some good names for these people. And the graveyard is just where you see Most your fallen, here, fallen covered in the poisoned earth. Okay, so I think uh, uh, first video. I think we can probably make it a fairly longish one and go on our first mission straight away. Mecca uh, so yeah, we only have one mission available for us right now because it is the very beginning of the game. Begins. Uh, so let's have a look. It is going to be a skirmish, which I think means to get a complete 100% of room battles. It's level 1, it's short, no need for camping. We get a few quite nice rewards from it. So, let's choose the uh, position of our characters now. So Reynard, we'll call him... what can we call him? The, the Light Meister. Yes, absolutely. Fan. How do you spell Meister? I've never actually had reason to to spell Meister before. This is the first time I've ever ever written it. Dismas can be. Oh, I can't really think of a, of a famous a famous thief, to be honest. Uh, to be fair, Dismas. I'm happy with Dismas, but with two S's. Uh, change it up a bit. Plague Doctor. Uh, how about Doctor? Feel good. Nothing wrong with a bit of motley crew. Gordon. I just think that's a weird name. I'm pretty sure that's a woman. So that's a bit of a strange name for a woman. Vestal. 
Uh, let's just call it. Uh, I don't know. To be fair, let's, fuck it. Let's call it Gordon. Gordon with an A. Don't know what that was. So where's Lightmaster gonna go? Lightmaster prefers the first and the second position. Uh, can pretty much only hit the first two targets as well. So I think it's probably best to put him right at the front. Dismass like second or third. Put him second. Dr. Feelgood likes third or fourth, Gordon likes third. So if we put Gordon there and Dr. Feelgood there. What are these stats? We have Mace, Bash, Judgment, Divine Comfort and Illumination. Not bad. And our Dr. Feelgood has Plague Grenade, Blinding Gas, Battlefield Medicine and Emboldening Vapors. Pretty good indeed. So I think the best thing to do is just get our provisions ready. The cost of so it is a short mission. I think I'm going to go for in gold. 12 Later. food. In blood. Uh, 10 torches. 1 shovel, 1 anti-venom, 1 bandage. I think that's about it. Okay, let's, let's set up on our first true and proper mission. Okay, here we go. The fiends must be driven back. Completely 100% in the room. Let's have a look at like this map here. Than the seat uh, of our could, noble line. It could be better. I think if we just get this room at the top out of the way first, that's probably in everyone's best interest. Pack of needs loot. Tax we have two food, 100 gold, loot. and a jade. Not Our bad. Just take up a slot. But I can live with that. Oh, that surprise is really bad. We are all kinds of messed up now. Um, let's emboldening Vapor's the Vestal, because he's. That she, whatever, is going to get the hit. Illumination does 3 to 6 damage. Maze Bash does 4 to 10. But Illumination, does it stun? I don't remember if it's I don't think it does. No, let's just Maze Bash the just the one on the front here. It dodged anyway, it's pretty, pretty annoying. A little pistol shot bone soldier for four. It's alright, I suppose. Yeah, we need to start moving our crusader, because I don't think he's actually able to do anything at all. Which is never good. Yeah, absolutely nothing. So he's gonna have to move forward in this turn. Uh, which is kind of annoying because he is pretty much our strongest character out of them. Uh, luckily, our Doc Feelgood gets all of his abilities back. Play grenade hits one to one. I, just, I think it, yeah, it causes blight. Blinding gas to stun. Yeah, we'll stun this guy for one. Yeah, that, that's okay. It's not not the ideal play, but it's better than nothing. If we get the eight on this bone rabble, I dodge again. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, we're moving back, so I they can attack at uh, full strength next turn. Like, that's probably the best play there. Dodge is pretty huge. Look, we've stunned that guy. Celestia Q's, 4 to 8. 6 6 is pretty awesome. If we can get another AoE on that, that would be cool, cool. Um, yeah, we'll. we'll, we'll uh, oh, I think I'm just an idiot. Yeah. No, no, there's Blight. I thought. You may be undead that's blight resist. On all these bleed resist 100%. Yeah, I got it. Uh, fuck yeah. I probably should have gone for the kill on the middle one now that I think about it. Um, 2 to 5, 2 to 5. Let's kill the middle one. Confidence surges got that as the enemy crumbles. Goes up by 5, I think it is. He died off blight. That's pretty good. I didn't even notice that. Uh, that 4 is not that big of a deal. And we'll finish him off with a nice as big overkill. Falls. Spike there. Blossoms. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Uh, let's move our characters back to where they are. I think that, that yeah, that's right. That surprise is a bit annoying, but um, oh, we are getting stressed. Let's burn a torch before As we go the in light here. Gains purchase, get into the room. Spirits are lifted. Hopefully, this is a battle. Purpose is made nope, clear. That was just a completely wasted journey. Um, I'm not not pleased with that, but. It, it settles my mind. Uh, it makes me feel better knowing that we don't have that what if at the back of our mind. So I think we're just going to have to move to this room here. Check out this pack. I think with loot packs, there's if very low risk. I'm pretty the sure there's nothing bad can happen or something like that. Uh, that trap hits for six. Fucking hell. That, 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 that's not good, really. Uh, Craig contains dashed heirlooms, two deeds. I've always found deeds to be hard to come by, so that that's I'm happy with that, definitely. Uh, we'll burn a torch before you go into this room, hopefully might be able to surprise if there is a battle in here, might be able to surprise them. Which there is, and there is also a chest. 
So I've always found with the long range units, definitely get rid of them first. They are like the higher HP and just plain annoying. That 17 crit is amazing. Oh wow, well that's struck. awesome. That 4 could, could be worse. That stun is pretty huge though, I don't know why it did that. Uh, what have we got here? Play grenade. We we could play grenade them, I suppose, get the blight on them. And there's nothing really we can do to kill that guy at the back. So that's accused some 4 to 8, smite 7 to 15. Yeah, I'm, I was hoping that would happen. I was. I'm, I'm more than happy with that. Uh, just realize our vessel doesn't actually have the main heal, which is, is not great, to be honest. That fault could have been a bit better. So it would have been our highwayman's turn. Let's just hit the. F oh, God. Just smite the main guy for 10. I'm alright with that. No, I'm not. I'm not too salty about that. Bayonet jab. Uh, we meant to be at the back. Yeah. Oh yeah. Good. We, yeah. Fair enough. Okay. So we'll just emboldening vapors our crusader, I suppose. Seems to be our buff character this play, Doctor. That's fine. Round three. Yeah, we'll party heal. Two's quite good with that. Um, just open vein on Arbalest. That six is pretty huge. Oh, one L. Thought that would have killed him actually. I'm pretty uh, well. Uh, I don't really know. I suppose our highwayman can get emboldening vapors. Uh, six and seven. Give them kill no quarter. Him. And hopefully we could either just smite or whoever's turn it is next. Just get the kill. Mace bash. Oh. Very nearly. Open vein. Fantastic. Okay. This uh, 225 and a Jade. Uh, who will be best to open this chest? Who will be best to open this chest? Four crest and a shovel. Cool. Let's move along, move along like I know you do, and open this locked display cabinet. We resisted whatever, I think it would have been a bleed. Uh, oh, what's in here? The hero inhales foul vapors. Okay. Did anything happen? Get stressed, maybe? Okay, that's weird. A bit scary. Uh, trap. Kind of scared me a bit. Ambushed by foul invention. Get the torch up and enter the next room. Uh, no enemies in here. Uh, knowing my luck, if I go down. Nah, let's just go down. I'm gonna take my chances. Shouldn't be that bad, really. Hunger. Eat. Four food yet? Yeah. Oh, that's right. I think. Whatever. Crates usually low risk as well. Four crests. And so far it has been fairly simple. Burn a torch. And get into the next room. And no battles. We'll find out there's a battle in this next one. Doesn't look like there is, which means I'm an idiot. But we'll go there anyway, just to one, because it'll probably give us experience and, and loot. And two, I might just be an idiot. So we are gonna be entering a, a battle now to burn this is torch. Struck. A blazing star oh, is born. They're, they're some pretty shit enemies, to be honest. Quarrel with my highway, man. Uh, we shall party heal for two. And then. Blinding gas. Stun the boss, stun the boss. Yes! Ah. Hit the pistol shot. Oh, well, no. Ah, oh, that is that is all right actually. Those fives on them bone rabbles are pretty huge. Uh, get rid of them early on would be quite nice. But that goes against my entire strategy of what I just told you. Either way, they're both dead now. No point in talking about it. Of course, he gets to go first. That makes ten tons of sense. We just may bash the one that's not stunned for nine. Bloody hell, I don't even know where you can get to nine. Uh, could grape shot these two. 
Uh, I was hoping for a kill on that one, to be honest. His attackization has only one left, and he's only got five health. Um, I don't see any reason for him to, to do anything, to be honest. He could have buffed. I don't really think it would have made that much of a difference, to be honest. He could just open vein. 19 oh, crits a bit overkill, strike. but I'm not complaining. Uh, so let's uh, burn a torch before we get in here. And the light, the promise of safety. A battle here. No, fantastic. Which means our last battle is in this room at the top. So yeah, as you can see, I, I, I do really, really enjoy this game. There's a lot of different aspects to it. There's the the RPG elements of upgrading your characters, giving them new abilities. There's the strategy about like, moving your characters around, choosing the best character for a certain um, um, place. Like a lot of people, there are traits which are which are like wields, explorer, or ruins phobia or something which means like they wouldn't be good in the ruins but could be good in the wield so there's that type of strategy to it and there's also just like the unique uh roguelike every every level is different uh but I, I really love this game i really enjoy this i'm looking forward to let's playing it uh who would be best in this the vessel surely the hero's history is sin is too much to bear 19 stress Okay, read a book. The volumes are desiccated and unremarkable. I find all books to be... Well, that's a lie. I, I do actually like reading. I just don't really have the time, to be honest. Now, a pistol shot will be 3 to 8, grape shot 2 to 5. I'm... I'm... I'm that's fine. 3-3 three, three could be worse, I suppose. Blanket fire, that is the one move in pretty much the entire game that, that doesn't that gets me so mad. That's just so overpowered. I mean maybe it does one to three, it seems it does one to three. But it's just like It's just it's just it's painful, man. So I've stunned him so he can't do anything in the next room. That four to five, I'll sure is nearly dead. He's got zero stress though. Very not stressed. I don't know the the word for not stressed for some reason. Blind him again. That will be one before. That will be resisted. Ah, wait. Well, you can't win them all. Bandaging. Your hero is bleeding. Uh, I might as well. I'm not going to use it again. Grape shot. Three, three, four. I probably could have got a kill somewhere along the line, but then I can just knock them two out straight away like that. Mace bash. Uh, I'm a bit annoyed that that dodged. We're getting ready right, uh, for the victory there. Uh, oh well. Okay, I'm feeling good. Um, we have one more battle. Uh, because we only have one more, I am going to eat all the rest of my food. You're going to have four. You're going to have two. Three. You're going to have one. Let's go. So I think it should be too hard. That's standard, really. Then. Oh, that surprise is pretty. Irritating. Someone's resolve could easily be tested by these two. 23 stress, man, that is huge. Stun them both, please. Wonderful. Uh, so we have our high one at the front. He can open vein. Let's just do it on the big guy. I think the more we knock him down, the better. Was this the bleed? Uh, I can't be too. Uh, judgment's a pretty, pretty nice move, thinking. Yeah, yeah, no, judgment's a pretty cool move. 3 to 7 and a self heal. That 6 is pretty cool. And we healed for 3, which is brilliant news. Um, 4. Uh, do we zealously accuse, or do we just. We could try and just kill this guy in one shot, to be honest. Ah, uh, it was risky. Didn't pay off in the end. Open Bane. Nice. Top end kill there. Judgment on uh, for a four, and we get to heal ourselves. I'm, I'm pleased with that, to be honest. Uh, five's gonna hurt. We are on death's door. I didn't even realize how good his health was. Good god. Every road ends. Indeed, it does. Hopefully, not for you, though. Uh, ideally, I really want to try and take out. Well, we, we can. Sorry, let's try and smite this guy. For a 12, one of them's down. Um. Technically, got it on the Crusader. 
I'm a bit annoyed at him because his stress was fairly low. He's still only at 20, really. And we have nothing really to cure. Just give him and balls and vapors, just so he definitely gets the kill on the next round if he doesn't. Knife in the dark. It's better than tempting goblet, I've got to admit. Um, nice kill on him there. Dismas. Right, you need to heal everyone. Just get Dismas off death's door, really. Give him the balls and vapors so he can get a nice little kill, but hopefully, yeah. And that should be the end of it. A Fantastic. Uh, let's get our play doctor over this up. It's trapped. Uh, and we got bleed, but it really doesn't matter. And then our quest is complete. Room by room, hall by hall. Wow. We will claim what is ours. We have 6,600 gold. We have a lot of crests, a lot of deeds, a lot of busts. A little bit, little bit of everything there, but quite a lot of crests. Um, so what's this? We have Lightmaster gained a few XP. And uh, Gordon and Dr. Feelgood have got to level 1. So Lightmaster has gained a couple of traits, he's gained soft. Mm, I'm not pleased with that. That could be something we take up at the sanitarium later on in the game, maybe, depending on how, how bad his other ones go. Stay of Eldritch. Yeah, I'm, I, that's pretty cool. You know, in the end game, I'm pretty, well, the later game, I should say, the Eldritch are pretty prominent. I've, so I've heard, anyway. And we have Misses the Spot, minus 1% crit. It's not too bad. Scattering, minus 5% range damage in ruins, scrounger, plus 10% scouting chance in ruins. Okay, um, they're all pretty good traits. I'm not complaining with much of them. When the sun shone, uh, and nothing interesting in there. From the tavern. So we've got the tavern and the abbey, which is just stress relief, basically. Fresh kegs, cards, I and could probably rooms let Lightmaster and Dismas off and the stress. Alike. I don't think they need it that bad. Dr. Feelgood has a rude fall. Oh shit, that's, that's not good. The Autonomophobia, to the faithful. scattering, so we can just go to the... Go to the, the penance hall and... Oh Christ, no. How much is it? Yeah. Yeah, meditate. And Gordon, unless you... Obsessed with the paranormal range, okay, you can go... And gamble. Okay, so I'm, as far as I'm aware, I'm pretty sure just the top end is lowest thing for stress and it just gets bigger because it gets more expensive. That is literally just... Uh, so we'll increase the gambling hall so we get stressed a bit less. And we will increase the the cloister so we get stressed a bit icons less. And dogmatic so rituals. here we got in the state, we have a or leper, atomic jester, bloodshed. grave robber and the and These are all... Classes I really want to try and play with, so we'll definitely probably go with all four of these in the next ally. episode. Uh, there's nothing I really want to upgrade there. No one's died yet, which is always good. And I think that will probably do it for my first ever episode. Uh, if you've enjoyed the episode, thank you very much for w watching and, and sticking with me throughout. Uh, it's it's yeah, I'm on a wild ride. This is the first of hopefully many. It's just a little hobby I'm trying to do and I've enjoyed it I've enjoyed my first episode I hope you have too if you have hit the like button uh, that would really help out a lot if you want to see more of these I will be posting these up hopefully twice a day while I'm beginning um, and I'm going to be adding a bit more variety to my channel hopefully later on so the subscribe button if you want to see more of that and I will see you next time thank you very much